If you think NAS servers are boring, well, you're wrong. Hello, my name is Domgo, and this is ASUS Store AS604T NAS server, and boring is nowhere in its vicinity. And that's not because it's I who I'm talking about. Now, first off, this is a 4-bay NAS server, meaning it can host up to 4 hard drives to offer up to 16 terabytes of storage space. It's very easy to replace or install the hard drive through this front-facing drive bay. Up here, it has a small LCD and 4 button for you to interact with the server. And down here, there is a USB 3.0 port and a button to work as a quick backup solution. On the back, the server has another USB 3.0 port and four USB 2.0 ports, and also two eSATA ports. That is uh, the most amount of ports I've ever seen on a 4-bay NAS server, and you can use those ports to add more storage to the server in case a 16 terabyte is not enough. You can also use those ports to host printer or Wi-Fi adapters. The server comes with two gigabit Ethernet network ports. You only need one port to make it work, but you can use both at the same time for either load balancing fail-safe, or performance-enhancing purpose. And now comes the interesting part of the server, which is its web interface, and you have to use a computer to appreciate it. And by the way, if you feel raw by the fact that I'm using Windows on a MacBook Pro, well, don't. That's because I'm Domgo after all, and you are not. Now, the web interface is what you use to manage a NAS server. To launch a web interface, you either use a ASUS Store Control Center software or you can just point the browser to its IP address. Once logged in, you'll be greeted with something very familiar. You see these icons here? That's right. It looks just like those on an iPad, and they work very much the same. You can run multiple apps at the same time, and you can also minimize them into a small button on the taskbar up here. And on one end of the taskbar, you see there's a button. Clicking on this will minimize all opening windows. If you notice, it works very similarly to the Show Desktop button on a Windows computer. Now, on the other end of the taskbar, there is a Shirt button. Using this button, you can quickly shirt for an app or a setting of the server and quickly jump to it without having to scroll around. If you notice, this works very similarly to the Spotlight feature of macOS. On each page, you can store up to 15 icons, but you can create more pages and move the icon between them. You can even name the pages to your liking. This is a great way to arrange apps. Overall, this is a new and very nice NAS experience, and the apps actually worked out very well in my testing. For example, the Download Center apps is one of the best download apps ever seen. You can actually shift for what you want and start downloading right away by clicking on it. You can even save the searches too. Now, this Download Center app is probably the reason why the 16 terabyte is not enough for some of you out there. And I don't blame you. Now, performance-wise, this ASUS Store server is excellent. It's one of the fastest 4-bay NAS servers I've ever seen on the market. All things considered, I think it's totally worth its street price, which is about $720. Now, for more on how good it is, make sure you check out the fullreviewstat.com. And when you're there, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. So there you go. This has been the first look at the ASUS Store AS604T NAS server. And by now, if you don't believe that it is interesting, well, you are wrong. And that's because I'm Dong Ngo, and somehow it feels great to tell people that they are wrong. <laughs>